Hello everyone and welcome back to 4Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. I got a lot of responses on the previous video as far as my conundrum and basically the main suggestion was to arm the chutes before deorbiting but the icon should turn blue. Uh, so, well, let's see what happens. Uh, let's say I arm right now, even before I decouple. Arm. Arm. Well, I mean... That's blue, right? Is that blue? I'm not gonna change anything else. Uh, the other thing was, if they don't press F5 and F9, uh, should be able to arm and deploy after reloading. And... There was also... Putting the shoots in an action group could solve the problem. And another suggestion was to land in water. I guess this is blue, right? It's sort of white and blue. But this is uh, 0 0.2.1.0 now. So just a change in versions might change something. I don't know. Okay, well, off that goes. Retrograde. And here we go again. We certainly don't... We, we could only... We certainly don't need both parachutes. Just one will be fine. Maybe it's punishing me for having too much parachute or something. Well, here's all the re-entry effects. I would have liked them to have pre-deployed by now. I'd really like them to deploy now. One thousand. Okay, they're not deploying. <laughs> they're not deploying. It's not blue enough. It's not blue enough. Let me just see. What 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 color are, is it right now? Oh, they're already like that. Okay, so that wasn't the right blue. I'm gonna just say deploy, or should I say arm? That wasn't specified. The comment said. Putting the shoots in an action group, but which which command? I'm gonna try deploy. Maybe I'll try arm as well. Let me try action group two for arm. And not toggle, just straight up arm, darn it. Okay, so we've done that. And arm the shoots. Well, number two is not changing the color of anything. It didn't actually do this. Did the is the action group actually there? Maybe I did that wrong. Action group two says arm parachute on both of those. But when I press two, it doesn't. I'm gonna click this. But it hasn't changed the icon. So okay, we're going to do the F5, F9 thing. F5, F9. Okay, I'm gonna try action group 2. Okay, so F5, F9, action group 2 changes it to this blue. Maybe we're in good shape then? So F5, F9 was necessary. Sa saving and loading doesn't work either. It ha in this case, has to be a quick save and quick load, because I definitely saved and load loaded previous times. As a backup option, I did have the possibility of sending up a vessel to intercept this thing and then grab the science and propulsively land because I wouldn't be trusting the parachutes at that point. So that was plan B. That's way early, but whatever. It says it's safe. Alright, so if we can get this done, we'll be on to the Gilly mission, which is the only thing other than the EVE part. We'll probably send something over to EVE to do some testing to get me some more information prior to doing the big mission. I'm surprised two of those parachutes on this tiny thing still only get us to 0.6, uh, 6.8. I was expecting us to be going down much slower. And we sort of sunk, but it's recoverable. Okay, recover vessel. All right, well, um, we've got some research points. Did we get the mission done?
Okay, it seems that way. Alright. We have brought a sample re report of the croissant. Surely a sample of the croissant. Uh, you are a sun because you're on fire? Okay. Had took Newton, Newton as collateral? Okay, whatever you're saying. Just tell me we can make croissants now. It wasn't actually a croissant? Aww, but we could have had really great space croissants though. Anyway. So we have to send an environment survey experiment to the oblique impact site on Gilly. Just out of curiosity, let me take a look at R&D and see how we're doing. We've got 12,000. That's definitely not enough. It's it takes a lot here. Let's just get the XL hydrogen tanks. And, well, I mean, that's a nice big thing there. Ah, uh, there's so much stuff. Shuttles. Mark three. We, I mean, we would want both of these at the same time kind of thing. Aquatic sciences, though. Hmm. I think we should aim for that and this orbital report mini lab. Because science is science. Stuff that gets us more science should be prioritized. So, all right. Uh, speaking of which, I haven't really sent the space lab thing out. So, sort of star lab. Hey, there's an actual star lab these days. Hmm. Stores research reports. Well, we'll see what it can do otherwise. Algae container. Mystery goo. I decided to spend some time actually designing this particular mission to Gilly, so we're probably going to skip the EVE testing portion of it and save that for later. We're just going to focus on the Gilly mission right now. And I've decided to launch the Star Lab for the first time and we'll see how it works. And I've come up with this rusty color. There are very few colors that match the gold foil exactly and this happens to be one of them. Uh, so I'm going with this. It's sort of like a red dwarf kind of thing with the Star Lab. Uh, it's also got a pod bay, uh, so not what I wanted to click. Uh, open and that's the pod that's actually going to land on Gilly right there. Uh, so it's got the environment survey in the Science Junior Junior. I believe that's what we need. Uh, and it's also got an antenna on this side and it's RCS powered. So it's going to land with RCS, which John Gilly shouldn't be a problem. It's got two little silver panels on the side, an octo core and a docking port in case we need to bring it back. Uh, so that is the setup there. And yeah, we've got a little cargo bay for the first time. And this has RCS of its own. And it's got a nerve. We we're actually using the nerve for the first time too, because why not? Uh, it's not, you know, more efficient than the swerve, but it suits this particular vessel quite well. We could have put the nerve on the outside, but that would make uh, matching it to the rocket very inconvenient. And so we have a mainsail down here. So the color scheme is mainly because of the gold foil right now. I could have picked a different color, but this happens. This has the virtue of being unique. Of course, I've got the big antenna up there, even though we don't need that big antenna. That's just for looks. And to counterbalance that, I put the radiation survey down here. Uh, it's not an, an exact balance, but it's pretty close. Uh, the big antenna is 0.65 and the radiation experiment is 0.56. Uh, and then we've got the nose cone as well. So hopefully the reaction will, we do have a probe core here because I don't know if this uh, star lab actually provides control. It's not under command. I don't think so. So I've got the remote, remote guidance unit in the middle there. So yeah, that's all the things. And we're going to just send it out to Gilly and see how it works. And that'll be the focus this time around. Now, as far as our Delta V is concerned, it's saying that the mainsail here with its stubby stage, uh, as enough for our launch. I'm hoping that there's not too much center of pressure up there confusing things, but the problem is uh, right now the center of pressure doesn't read anything but wings. So I don't know if this is going to cause us to be wobbly or not, uh, but we might have wanted to put fins down here, we'll see, but I'm not gonna put them on unless I find out that I need them. So otherwise, except for the launch stage with the mainsail, we have 4,780, is that 84 or is, I think that's 84. So let's uh, 
I guess we should send two Kerbals, because the Star Lab isn't going to work without Kerbals. That'll still give us 10 for the Eve landing. And it looks like, I think it auto-fills these 12 slots, so I guess that's okay. Maybe. Shandas looks like... Okay, Faruqi definitely looks like a scientist. Um, and Gilil looks like a scientist. They both got glasses, so... <laughs> but Gilil definitely is rocking that hairdo. So, alright. Let's go. Alright. Oh, why no countdown? I guess it must have been wiggling too much in the clamps. I definitely didn't revert or anything, so... I guess sometimes that happens. I think we're going to be going sideways like this, but I don't want to roll, so... Okay, tenuously, tenuously. Well, no, it's going off to the side. It's going off to the side, I can't stop it. No, we need fins. Okay. I sorta, I sorta knew that was coming. I just wanted to see. All right. I'm gonna revert this. I mean, I, I called the fin thing, it's fine. <laughs> I, I I knew that was probably going to be the case. That would seem a little bit small. These aren't too heavy. I took it outside, but it occurred to me that we didn't seem to have much power. Uh, I didn't realize the Star Lab thing, uh, I guess, doesn't come with any power. That was sort of surprising. So, we need to slap on some batteries. I don't know how much for its transmissions. We just gotta put two of these. Okay, hopefully that'll be good enough. Yeah, I only had 35 units otherwise. Okay, well, I should probably go steeper this time instead of trying to turn too quickly. Alright, here we go. I hope we got the countdown this time. Okay. It's interesting that both Faruqi and Gil have like white framed glasses. I feel like that's pretty rare. White framed glasses. It's definitely leaning to one side. I don't know, maybe the drag on the antenna is really big? Yeah, I don't know. We could have the arrow relay, uh, arrow overlay, I know. But... Oh, more experiments that... Wait, I didn't get any extra science for- Oh no, I no, 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 no! Silly thing distracting me. We, uh, hmm. Okay. Music restarted. Okay, up, 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 up. Still apparently problematic in the atmosphere. I'll have to check the reaction wheel in the probe core. Maybe it's not good enough. I don't think the nerve has a thrust weight ratio to deal with this situation, but we're going to find out. It did not mean for it to be doing this sort of thing. But we are here now. Oh, there it is. The Gilly Explorer. It's been a bit fraught today. Oh, oh, things are poking out. Things are poking out. Oh, I should, I should have been more aware of that. I... Might have accidentally, you know, blocked those things, but uh, but I didn't. It looks like so. But I can't transmit any of this stuff, huh? Well, good thing I put a docking port. Glows. Well, it doesn't seem intrinsically imbalanced. It must have just been the aerodynamics of the whole thing. Oh, we might as well extend the solar panels as well. In the hope that we can actually get to orbit. All this extending things out is a bit premature. 
Oh, and we can transmit some stuff here. But it's just Kerbin, so it's not a whole lot. Oh, I think I've gone too high here, but... Just gonna point prograde and wait. It's a good question now if we have enough to catch around Eve and get to Gilly with our remaining Delta V. Uh, we do have a uh, Kerbin Depot. Unfortunately, I don't think it's a uh, Hydrogen Depot. Okay, but just out of curiosity, I'm gonna pop on over to check. Control. Yeah, it's just... It's just liquid fuel and oxid... well, not liquid fuel, uh, methane and oxidizer. Okay. Okay, well, what we've got there seems to be an inclination problem that will do in a mid-course correction. Uh, right now, our ascending node's all the way out there, so we're not gonna be able to do too much over here. Uh, so we've got an approach and we've got an encounter. I've put a lot of radial into this burn, uh, sort of like the moho burn, so that they'll be more efficient to do it as plotted instead of doing it ahead of time. You know, uh, during the series I've been doing a lot of burns earlier, but this time I just put the radial in. So now it's a combination of uh, prograde and radial in order to do this, even though I really hate plotting it like that. So... We are going to do this like that, and going there is not, I mean, and also we, we have to time it right, so it is a little bit inefficient like that, but to Eve it's not a big deal, 1126 is not huge, but yeah, we don't know how much it's going to take to capture. Hopefully, the approach that I'm making right now is fairly gentle, it's not really too different from Eve's orbit, so it won't take too much to capture. Okay, and go. Well, it's gone past on the Delta V marker, but I went with the timing. Let's see. Uh, I think we went too far. Yeah, we went too far. Okay, retrograde. I shouldn't have gone with it. I, I did the burn as close to what the little maneuver node burn thingy said, and it's still wrong. Um, yeah, what can I say? It'd be easier if they had the Delta V number ticking down instead of just a bar. Then we could go with that. But the timer is completely wrong. I, I swear I've never seen the timer right. Maybe for a very small burn. I think the Delta V bar is maybe more correct, but it's really tough to say sometimes. Okay, let me just create a maneuver. It'd be nice if it'd show me how close I was getting while I was burning. I mean, there's no reason for it not to show me those intercept points right now. It only shows me them when I have a maneuver. So that's one map UI thing that they did not do. Oh, there we have the Eve encounter. Alright, so we have restored our Eve encounter. Alright. Really, we're trying to get to Gilly, though. So, is it gonna tell me... my... inclination to Gilly? We're going the correct way around, at least. If that dotted line is actually our ascending or descending node, that'd be great. We're still doing science, right? Everything's peachy keen about that. Yeah, it's still accumulating some science. Lots of data units. Um, I mean, lots of power that's required to transmit it. Guess we should transmit what we can right now. Okay, well, I'll just go with what the bar says. How close are we? Just a minor prograde burn, it looks like. Okay, well that looks alright. Alright, let's go there. RCS off. On we go. The science lab, the star lab, seems to have lights on, but their IVA does not seem to. Okay, well, that's uh, low transmission cost. Let's get that on. Okay, so we're getting some of this Star Lab stuff. 
And 65 kilometers is a little bit too close. Nice that the Gilly Explorer comes with a uh, sort of purple thing on top there. Matches Eve and everything. Alright, that's plenty close enough to Eve. Okay, so we've got some Eve data I'll transmit. We're pretty highly inclined with respect to Gilly. And I'm gonna just try and meet up with Gilly over on this side, I think. Right now it's not matching up pretty well for that side. I'm just gonna do a 250 meter per second burn here. So, okay. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, uh, it retracted all the things. Can we get low over Eve? Are you gonna extend all the things again? Uh, at least the lights are on. Okay, environment data. Transmit. Mostly in this series I haven't been milking science. I've been trying to see how much science you would get just by naturally doing the missions that they had planned. And, you know, you can. it seems like you can get most of the tech tree if you just do, uh, you know, get the mission science and then also what natural science you would get along the way. Instead of deliberately trying to grind it out for some reason. Okay, now we've got the purple glow there, but now we can't see the purple glow of Eve. Oops, I didn't wait until we had enough electric charge. Oh, and now we can't get any electric charge unless we ignite. Uh-oh, can we not ignite now? Because we don't have power? Uh-oh, I didn't realize we needed power to ignite the engine. Oops. No. Okay. We need to ignite the engine immediately. This guy costs more now. Gosh darn it. Well, not that much more. Okay, well, that's more or less what we wanted, except not at the right time. Okay, we've got Gilly Periapsis there. There's a 383 meter per second burn. I probably shouldn't need to do all that, but I wanted to make it quicker. So, a little bit of impatience here, but we are going to try that and see if it works. So, out to Apoapsis for that burn. Oh, oh, I passed it. Ah. Uh... Oh no, I passed it by a lot. Shoot. Okay, I accidentally passed the maneuver node, so we've got a radically different situation here. Okay, gilly per periapsis like that, but well, I'll probably be saving myself some burn or orbit like that, hopefully. But we'll need to refuel this if we want to bring it back to Kerbin. Basically, the mainsail flipping around a whole lot determined that already, I think. I think that if the mainsail hadn't done a whole lot of flipping, we would have been able to get to Gilly and come back to Kerbin, make orbit around Kerbin without any trouble with the fuel that we had. But it had to be all flippy on me. Go. Okay, well the periapsis is going away, let's just take that. We have a ghillie approach. The ghillie explorer will in fact get to ghillie. <laughs> sort of important. Otherwise it's false advertising. But it'll be staying at ghillie until it gets some more fuel. Well, we barely have any ghillie periapsis there. Whoa, whoa, I can't decide, I can't decide, no! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please be ghillie-oriented, please be ghillie-oriented. I think the Z-oriented now. Uh-oh. Well, we're getting all sorts of ghillie periapses. <laughs> um, uh... I think that's the one I want. 
Well, we're back in Gilly SOI for sure this time. Okay, there it is. Okay, well, that's a Gilly orbit. Let's try and round that out. I don't know how much it'll restrict our time warp at the periapsis, though. It's already restricting my time warp quite a lot. And we're all the way up here. They're really paranoid about Gilly. Okay, well, science. Okay, well, let's transmit those before we accumulate too much science. Ah, Gilly, torture. You know what? I'm making an executive decision that it is now time to actually deploy the probe. Uh, we're going to hold there. Open the pod bay door. Okay. Only five units? Oh gosh. I forgot to put extra power on this too. Okay, so as far as I know we need to land there in that impact crater. No fuel. Oh, right. It doesn't understand that RCS is fuel. Okay, well, that's another problem. <laughs> Just let us make the maneuver nodes, even if we don't have Delta V, okay? Seriously. Well, so I end up having to do this whole thing blind. Oh, no vessel control because the power. But it has sunlight. Ah, uh, it doesn't have sunlight. Uh oh. Well, anyway. It'll eventually get sunlight. Yes, and um, warning me about the battery before it runs out would be good too. Well, it sure looks like this panel should have some. Oh, that's not much energy flow. What's that sound? Oh, maybe we should just retract this antenna. Well, hibernate and warp should have probably been a thing. Okay, well, we have some power. No ability to s plan the actual approach, but... Okay, that's north. That's fine. RCS on. Um, we actually want to go west. I don't feel like I'm turning right now. Nor is the RCS adjusting my orbit at all. Now if you take a look here, it's not changing my orbit. I mean, it's a little bit off from the inclination, but it still should change something. Maybe we should just land the whole Gilly Explorer on the thing. But now we have to retrieve this probe. Well... Okay, I don't need that sound still. Let's see if we can retrieve the probe. That one, I guess, which is on the Fritz. Okay, okay. There's something weird with our orbits, because again, I should be changing my orbit. This Gilly, even a little bit of impulse changes your orbit by quite a lot. Okay, um, back to space center. Maybe I should F5, F9. That seems more effective than saving and reloading or going back to the Space Center. Uh oh, 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 uh, oh, it's, it's zooming out. No, this is, this is... Uh, it, it, it's, the camera was zooming away from the thing. I think it really doesn't like that right now. Uh oh, it's doing it to my Gilly Explorer, no! Okay, okay, no, um, uh, save, whatever, fine, and F5, F9, whatever, everything, press everything! Okay, well at least it's not zooming out of it right now. Okay, let me just use a little bit of thrust here, or right, let's see, well it doesn't have the target. Okay, we are definitely changing our orbit now. Okay, maybe though the Gilly Explorer can use its RCS now though. 
Okay, well, it's recharging. Oh yeah, now, now we can maneuver. And I think we weren't recharging before... ...for other reasons. I mean, it seems to charge up pretty well right now with the solar panels. We are at EVE, after all. And it's solar panels right there. I think some glitch was causing it to not recharge properly. And now it's operating right. Okay, but we don't want to be on escape. Oh, but hopefully Gilly won't rotate too much while we're trying to do stuff. We should be relaying... It looks like relaying works. We should be relaying through the Gilly Explorer all the way through. So I don't need to open the antenna or anything. Uh, well, this isn't the greatest approach ever. Okay, but let's see how it rotates before we make any further plans. Okay, well, this is more like it. Well, we, uh, we need to stop them from doing the rotation again. Whoops. Don't know if it's anywhere in this crater or whether they really want it at that location. Either way, we can do it. Alright, well that looks like a good pass. Just see when we're over it and... Crater Conundrum. But it's rotating too much. Let's get closer first. Uh-oh, no! It's gonna take forever! Okay, I want you to point towards the surface. <laughs> you need to go down faster. 30 meters per second. Well, maybe I can deal with that. Well, it definitely seems like this area is something special as opposed to the rest of the crater. We don't have that kind of power. We ne we'll need to rendezvous with the mothership in order to transmit stuff like that. Now well, we can use RCS to translate a bit. Are we close enough? I mean, this seems good enough, right? Okay, uh, up doesn't work. Right. Well, 200 meters better be close enough. I think I'm practically on it. Is that like the meteorite that did the whole deal? Could be. Did you make an impact? Okay, we're here. Okay, Mission Control is happy that we at least picked up the environmental data. Um, we need to get back to the mothership, but I think I'm going to leave it here for now. You'll see what state it's in after I reload the save. That's going to be interesting. But I'm going to save the game here with this down here. We'll get back to the mothership and then start planning our next mission. Our last mission, I think. So, actually, let me go to the mission control, go to mission control and finish this, and presumably that's it except for under pressure. Okay, sticky stuff. Landing footage was hilarious? Yeah, I don't know if that's hilarious, despite the low gravity. Okay, I'm tracking this mission under pressure. But I would like to get that probe back to the mothership first. We don't need to, but it'd be good form. All right, so I'm saving here, and I'll call it a day. And with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.